Chickabee, Massachusetts, in front of the Chickabee City Hall. When it was finished in 1871, Chickabee was still a town, and so this is Chickabee Town Hall. And 19 years later, 1890, Chickabee became a city that became Chickabee City Hall. It looks like a lot like a church for a reason. Um, they used to build town and city halls back then to look a lot like that because they they had high expectations for their governments. Um, this one here is a building that was built by Charles Parker. He did a lot of buildings around the area of New England, including Keene uh, City Hall, Chickabee City Hall, and buildings around Boston, quite a bit of them. It has a, a nice rose window in front. It's in the, um, I would call it Gothic, but just barely Gothic. And it has a, a Italian flair of uh, I think it called Piazzios, but the tower is quite the flair. Notice the walkway on a porch out of one of the window sets of the tower. And it has a beautiful clock. I wonder if it had a bell at any time. Quite gorgeous though. And it sweeps towards the back and it looks even there like it, it probably could have deserved to have stained glass windows. I, I don't think it ever did, but it probably deserved them. In the back is an annex that was built much later. So this building you look at is 1871. That means it's 153 years old as of this year. Now inside of it, in the front doors, are two plaques to, to have the names of all the men that died during the course of World War I that were from Chicopee. And there were many, many men, I think 63, and there's two big plaques inside of there. It's a gorgeous building. I hope you visit the insides of it to see what it looks like inside. You notice most of it's brick, but the uh, a portion, part above the doorways is made out of uh, alternating colors of masonry. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sweep around this area because it's so important the history of Chickabee, and we're going to look at the Munich House. The reason why is that Munich House, it looks, it looks like the building is is very ordinary built just to be apartments or are are for commerce but in fact that building used to be the home of a church and it only lasted as a church for like a 15 years or so and then he moved up and also next to it is the former chickabee library until they moved to front street so there's a lot happening around this little area now we'll sweep around the greenery in front we see murals, we see the Kendall Apartments. The Kendall Apartments are very old. They're one of the few parts that are decently old that are left to here. A lot of it has been taken out by urban renewal. Behind it used to be an apartment complex. Now, in the distance are the Dwight Mills. It used to be the Cabin and Perkins. Now they're mostly the Dwight Mills. But we know that we must be near the Chickamy Canal. And that's true because we sweep one more time past past where the David Bridge goes out, you see the Ames Privilege. This was the Ames Mill for the Ames Factory. And this was the third location in Chickabee, and they were here a long, long time. They transformed Chickabee's not only employment, but also its landscape look. In front of that is the Chickabee Canal, right? And I have tours along that every year. And then one more thing to point out is this is Front Street. A lot of things along Front Street, including St. Stanislaus, the Chickabee Library, the Zot Park, and much more, including two of the Chickabee High Schools. Okay, so I hope you get to visit Chickabee a lot. This is the center, and from here are a lot of interesting things. Thank you very much.